And I just feel like enough is enough. Let's go. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Serena, hence the intro, hence the channel name. That's so Rena. You get it, Courtney, I know, but that's just how we are here. And then today, we doing another. Uh. I know you guys love Tipsy Talks. I kind of took a break from them, but girl, I could talk for days, okay, for days. So I wanted to like rebrand it and come in my bedroom for a change instead of just sitting at the desk and just talking. Um, so we will be having guests come on. Next week will be my boyfriend and I. We're gonna kick it off so, like a little bit of a cozier version of Tipsy Talk. I don't want it to be so formal, you know, like, we're just all here, we're just chilling, you know, stuff like that. I also wanna get into some that are like virtual, like so that they don't have to come here if, you know, it's such a big commute because I have not moved back to Atlanta yet, but we'll, if you watch the vlog, you already know what's going on with that. <laughs> so yeah, now um, I wanted to, as you guys can already see from the title, I wanted this to be cozier in the room type of setting because it's a more serious topic. All my topics are are serious, um, and I'm passionate about all my topics. But this one right here really hits home for me. So, to avoid me going off into a tangent with my wine, I wrote down um, some talking points. So, if you see me looking down, that is why. So, if you're of age, go ahead and grab your drinky drink and your wine. Yes, this bottle is huge. But it was only $9.99 at Kroger, so I went ahead and was like, why not get the big bottle instead of getting two regular size bottles? Because the regular size bottles at my store are $4.99. So I was like, $5, I might as well get two for uh, the big one for 10 instead of two for 10, you know? So yeah, I don't have to explain myself. I'm grown. Let me go ahead and pour away from my bed because y'all, I have white sheets, white pajamas, all of that good stuff. We don't need no mishaps over here, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of background story and stuff like that about how I was growing up. So I am the oldest of, how many of us are there? The oldest of four. Um, so I always felt pressure, oh, and my parents are divorced. So I'm the oldest on both sides and everything. Oldest grandchild, everything, okay? So I always felt pressure to be um, like a good role model for the younger ones, but I never lived up to that. Okay, so let's just start with that. I started <laughs> up my life around 16, so <laughs> I am not anywhere near a role model. I'm very much like a representation of do the best you can and everything else will work out after. So if that's what you're here for, I'm here to tell you, girl, it works out somehow. It all works out, okay? But hey, I should do a story time on that. Okay, but let's let's focus. I've always been a honor roll student, things like that. But when I got to college, that's when I started realizing, oh, I've only been doing school, like traditional schooling and being honor roll and AB honor roll and stuff like that. Like if I got a C, I was devastated. Okay, and my dad made it such a big deal. So you know, Caribbean household, but bang. It is not for the weak, okay? I put a lot of pressure on myself um, in high school. So when I got to college and I was literally free of all of that, um, I literally like fumbled the ball. I was on academic probation, girl. I lost my Hope scholarship. I had to get, I had to pay for a semester before they let me back on to Hope. Um, yeah, I had a Pell Grant and stuff like that, but that's where my, um, student refund checks was coming in and I was blowing those too. And yeah, I just never went back to the traditional university um, school. I did graduate college though, but that was last year during the pandemic. I'll be 25 this year, okay? So I um, ended up transferring to a technical college and getting a certification instead of a uh, four year or a two year degree, but hey. I'm still the first of the family to even attend college and finish. So <laughs> I pat on my motherfucking back, okay? Oh, some people, they feel like that's just not enough. And that sometimes is based off of what they're seeing on social media as the new norm or what they're hearing. And 
things like that and i just feel like enough is enough like fuck all that shit like fuck all these expectations that we put on ourselves all these pressure we put on ourselves and just it depends on what you are um consuming in social media right so i'm gonna um move on to that um, a little bit more my next topic was how social media plays a role in comparison i really feel like some people get on instagram and they just feel like shit about their life you know like you can tell like from the hate comments and stuff like that on social media i'm sure you guys if you follow me on instagram like i post all the time the negative stuff that is left under my videos and it really doesn't bother me because i feel like negativity is just a projection of yourself onto somebody else so that's just how i cope with it it really doesn't bother me because i know like who i am and what i stand for so when people like try to attack me really doesn't do anything <laughs> like i think that it's funny because you literally went out your way to type this whole thing to little old me in bacon in her pajamas recording a video you know like so it doesn't really bother me it says a lot about you you know in regards to that um uh, other than the negative comments because some people can't take negativity like as brush it off like me people will go on social media and feel like they are not a um successful person like let's discuss entrepreneurship for example um you all know that i had a um, business i'm saying had as past tense because i decided to close it down um as a you know overall decision because i just felt like i was putting more into it than uh, i was receiving in terms of funds specifically but i was just lacking that drive like if i show you guys like me like back in the day um how i was just so enthusiastic when an order came in i was still enthusiastic to this day but um the happiness that i used to feel i was starting to lose that so it wasn't really true to me to just stay around just to prove a point that i'm still relevant i'm still here i still have a business i'm still a business owner you know and i had to shift because my my passion is really in youtube right but i also wanted something tangible for you all to have to say that oh i got something from my favorite youtuber or this girl that i really look up to on youtube or this girl that really inspired me to go out and be my true authentic self made something and i want something uh from her you know i actually had that you know i like that feeling because i know there's youtubers that i watch like kyra and ashley and katherine um bedell like if they drop something right now i'm gonna go buy it like katherine just dropped lashes i'm buying it so it's like you know, I just want to be able to support people that I look up to. Well, not even look up to, because I don't look up to them, but I'm inspired by what they were able to create. So I want something tangible that I'm able to say, I helped her with that specific thing. So that's what I wanted for you all in regards to me. So I created a brand and we might revisit that later, but as of right now, we put it on pause, we um, closed it down. Um, I say we, but I mean me, but I say we because I speak for y'all too. But um, yeah, the, does that make me a failure? No. Does that mean that I'm not fit to be an entrepreneur? No, but it just means that it just wasn't my time for that yet and that is okay. So speaking about social media, people do not post all their negative things. Like if you guys were not an active follower, you wouldn't know about a lot of these negative things that are happening to me because it's up to me on what i put out there it's up to me what i post you i could just literally be on the camera all the time like hey y'all da, 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 and y'all would never know like oh somebody that i'm really close to just died or somebody um you know really pissed me off today somebody hurt my feelings or i've been crying for six hours before i jumped on camera y'all would not know unless it is posted you know so those are the type of things that I'm saying. You guys don't see any of those negative things when you go to this inspiring, uh, let's say makeup artist. Let's say you're a small makeup artist. You go to this big makeup artist uh, page and you just think their life is all figured out. It's all glamorous. This is the life you want. This is the life y'all want, but you guys don't see that that person is on antidepressants. You guys don't see that 
that person just bury their loved ones at. Y'all don't see that. And I hate to be so dramatic, but these are real things that are going on in real people's life. Everybody has a story. Everybody's going through things. And unless they post it, you will not know. Only time you get on there, every time you get on there, they're putting up an accomplishment, an accomplishment, an accomplishment. I want you guys to understand in the back of your head that they're still going through things. I also wrote down success means different things for different people, you know? Um, 10 sales on a business that's been open for a year might be success to someone as to where selling out in the first day might be success for someone, you know? It all depends on what you got. Label for yourself as success. What goals do you have? What realistic goals do you have? What short-term goals do you have? What long-term goals do you have? It's all up to you all. You're able to create any life that you wish to have because you're in control you're the main character and i i hate to say that because it's becoming so trendy right now that main character energy i don't want you guys to become a different character than yourself you know what i'm saying put yourself on a higher pedestal and stop beating yourself down all the time that goes for your confidence level your business success anything that you have a passion for don't belittle it because of what you see other people doing or other people achieving or things like that um back in the day something that ashley devonna said back in the day when i used to watch like her old videos i still watch her but in one of her old videos she was saying you are watching this person and it looks like they had success overnight right it looks like they just had an elevator and then you go to that person you ask them um how did you get the success that person cannot give you their elevator you know because if everyone could take the elevator i'm pretty sure we all would just get on the damn elevator instead of walking up the stairs and walking to our journey and figuring it out for ourselves there is no overnight success just magic potion that people are holding back from you you just have to believe it and then you receive it and it's just that simple guys i'm i'm serious I, I know i sound like very i don't even know the word for it but i know how i might come off right now but guys i'm telling you the minute you stop worrying the minute that you stop comparing the minute that you stop being so hard on yourself it happens i don't i don't know you know so sometimes i sit here and i script out what I want and I speak it in present tense. I have this, I have this, like that. Or you can do future tense. I will have this by this date and just write it, write it. Then as you see time come by, you'll realize that you're sitting in something that you prayed for already. But while you're over here stressing about the next thing you're not realizing that you were just stressing about what you currently have this time last year i'll use me for example around this time last year it was coming to the end of my lease and i didn't know where i was going to be living okay now look at me in a whole apartment sitting here on my 300 dollars vlogging camera <laughs> talking to you guys about how you guys can do it life isn't always just peaches and cream and it's not as simple as you know pie but <laughs> we figure it out we figure it out and all that stressing i was doing all the anxiety i was feeling then really doesn't matter now and that's how we have to apply it to every other thing that we're dealing with our 20s you shouldn't have everything figured out you really shouldn't have everything figured out at 20 like my dad always told me in your 20s that's when you really figure out who you are okay so make sure you guys are taking time to be nice to yourself to be you know just positive just let's be more positive shall we so yeah you guys that's all i have for today's tipsy talk it wasn't as turned up or raunchy as we usually do, but I hope you guys liked this setup and this conversation. Let me know you guys' thoughts and let me know if anything I said, you know, hit home for you or anything like that. I hope you guys enjoy this content and where I'm going with my channel. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys so much. Bye.